and welcome to Casual Saturday Lunch. Now, after the debacle of last week of trying to do Instagram and Facebook Lives at the same time, I've opted just to do Instagram again because it is so much easier. The Facebook, if you've watched the Facebook video, it's on its side. So I'm trying to spin it around, but I haven't worked it out yet. So we're sticking to Instagram for the foreseeable future. Okay, so I'm Alex Stewart. For the people who haven't met me before, I have had cancer. That's why I started Centre for Cancer Nutrition, because the side effects from my treatment took all the joy out of food. So this is why I like to help people who have lost their, their zest for food or find it really hard to eat. We like to just tweak recipes and ingredients so you can enjoy your food again and actually get some nutrition in. Now, I am not a dietitian or nutritionist. I'm your regular sort of person who's been there and done that. And these are all just, you know, helpful little tips that I never had when I was going through treatment and a lot of people are finding really useful. So I hope you do too. Now today, doing sausage rolls. And a thing I love about sausage rolls is they're portable. So they're a great food for having like a springtime barbecue, picnic, something out with the family and you think oh I might not be able to have that because this other this and that other side effect well we're going to try and negate all of those so you can eat them they're also really handy for treatment day so if you don't fancy the hospital food or the day ward food and I don't blame you pop some of these in a little lunch pack and take them with you now don't fall over. Here are some I prepared earlier. These have just come out of the oven. Uh, that's two weeks in a row. I've actually had some that I've done before, so I can show you. So that might not last. We'll see about what happens next week. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got, I'm just using a fresh chicken mince. I had some chicken breast and I've just minced it in the food processor. Um, couldn't be bothered buying chicken mince or going out this morning. Now, what we're going to do with these, let me have, show you what I've got over here for a start. I'm doing them a bit differently um, flavour wise. So if you know everything is tasting bland, there is so much you can do with these sausage rolls that um, will blow your mind and your taste buds. What I've done with one lot and that lot there is I actually used some green curry paste. Now I know that's upside down. This is, uh, it's got so much flavour in it and it will cut through those dull taste buds. You could also add for bland flavour, you could add a bit of chilli or something that's going to give a bit of warmth in the mouth. Um, what else am I doing here? This next batch I'm going to do up, I'm actually going to use a, what is it? I'm going to use um, pesto. So that's another way of adding flavour in. So it's not like your sausage roll that's got just um, some herbs in it and some onion. You can add all of these flavours in. Um, you can also add in uh, a miso paste or some umami mix. There's a couple of mixes I've seen online that you can buy. It's called umami sprinkles. And you can just sprinkle that in and that will just give that flavour a real lift and a real hit in the mouth. Now, okay, so I've got, I haven't made much room here, have I? I've put that over here. I'm just going to put a couple of spoonfuls of this pesto in. I did grab a clean spoon before, but do you think I can find it? No, I have to use this one. I'll just get some of that off there. So probably about two tablespoons. What I did with the green curry paste is I actually just went by smell. When you're using pastes, though, they're a bit stronger than when you use like a, a simmer mix or a sauce, sauce mix. So just keep that in mind and probably try and use something that you've used before so you know what strength it is. So I'm just mixing. I know you can't see because I've got all my... Oh, look at that. We'll just put it on there. Just mixing this into the, the chicken mince here. And I'm also going to add some texture into this. I'm going to put in some pistachio nuts. Now they'll go a bit softer when you're cooking them as well. But if you want crunch, you could use um, chopped up water chestnuts. They're really good for crunch. When you've cooked, they will stay crunchy. Uh, that will do for that. What else? I've got some other things um, on my on my list here, so fibre, if you need extra fibre, depending on what sort of fibre you need, because if you've watched um, a YouTube video on fibre, not all fibre is created equal. Um, so you could add in some flaxseed, ground flaxseed, or some chia seeds. Now this is the, sorry, pistachio nuts going in. Oh, that's a, a good few there, lovely. Um, what else, what else have I got? I've got a list in front of me. Now for dry mouth and throat, 
you would probably want to skip actually putting the, the pastry around it. So make them into like big, big meatballs, pop them in the oven. They won't dry out like that. Cover them with a bit of foil so they don't dry out. Do them like I did the Jamie Oliver Bothen burgers, the tweaks on that, um, exactly the same way. You could also do them in a simmer sauce as well to keep all the moisture in. And that's the same for a sore mouth as well. Keep them as smooth as you can and as moist as you can and omit the pastry, flaky pastry on the outside. Now, just fill these up. So I've got just some ready-made puff pastry sheets here. They're thawed and I've cut them in half. So I've got three bits because I've already done one before. Just grab about half of the mixture. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not too technical about this because it just, you know, it's however it comes out. So do it sort of towards one side and just moving it up and down here. I don't like the sausage rolls very big. I like them sort of thin and little. Now, if you don't want meat at all and you have some metallic taste, I would be making these with a plant-based version of the meat. So you could use um, in a you know mix up in a blender or puree, say some really thick pumpkin. Uh, you could put chickpeas in that puree, chickpeas, lentils, anything like that. Then add your flavour into those. Now I'm just going to uh, I'll just fold one of these over because I don't want to keep you too long today. Just fold this over, press down. A little bit here and I had a fork ah, I still have a fork and I'm just going to crimp the edges together with the fork which aren't crimping together very well just press them down now I was talking about some texture before and another way of adding extra text extra texture is on top so what I'm going to do I've got a mixture of, I've got black sesame seeds, white sesame seeds and nigella seeds. So the nigella seeds add sort of like a bit of um, like a, an oniony sort of flavour to it. So in a moment I'm going to sprinkle that on top because I thought I haven't put my egg wash on yet. Where's the thingy there? Okay. Egg wash first would be handy so it all sticks. Let's pop this on here. Bit of egg wash there make it go nice and brown too nice and crispy as I say if you don't want crispy just omit this all together and make just like little sausages or meatballs it's still a way of having you know something with your family that they're having and it's not too much fussing about to make it just that little bit different so you can eat it right those are going on there I'm going to actually take that glove off because it's covered in Sure, can I hold that one there? I'm going to sprinkle my seed mix onto here. But I'm going to add some extra texture onto the top of this just to show you how easy it is to get a nice bit of crunch. I've got some panko <laughs> some panko crumbs here. <laughs> Looks a bit awkward. Couldn't get any more awkward, quite frankly. And I'm going to sprinkle those on top as well. And they'll go really crunchy and crispy, and you will get that extra. I guess, yeah, the crunchiness in the mouth, but you also get sound. There's all this talk about is sound important when we eat? And I think I've probably expressed my opinion on that before, that yes, it is. In the absence of, of taste and smell and when you've got bland taste, you just want to try and utilise all of your other senses to, to, you know, to get some excitement in your food. Now, all we're going to do with that, pop a bit of paper onto I so I keep disappearing today and I'm going to cut these up before I put them on um, I'm not very good at doing like even type of things so we'll just see however they come out is however they come out whatever size it doesn't matter I've got my oven on at 120 degrees it's a fan forced oven um, if you're not using fan forced oven then it would be about 220 for these and just pop them in for 20 minutes depending on how thick your sausage rolls are 20 minutes was what I did those other little ones before and these just go on oh, of course I haven't cut them through completely let's just pull it apart <laughs> there we go Right, oh, so that 
is sausage rolls adapted to suit. Let me see, make sure I've got it. If you need extra fibre, texture, sore mouth, metallic taste, bland taste and dry mouth and throat. Right, so I will um, put this recipe up properly and write out all the tweaks for you as well. Let me know if you make them. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, Noel. How are you? Hi, Rose. <laughs> Let me know if you make them. Um, you know, send a photo because uh, I'd like to look at something that's a bit better looking than this. Um, but it's a really, really easy, quick way of getting great flavour, great texture and having something that you can share with the family as well. Okay, so that is it for casual Saturday lunch. I will see you again next week and I'm going to go off and enjoy the lovely sunshine and the sausage rolls. Okay, see you then. Bye.